Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the mechanism of taste reception. Dear students, the sensation of taste can be grouped into five primary types. These are the salty, sour, sweet, bitter and umami tastes. All these perceived tastes combine to form a variety of tastes that are composed of all the combination of all these basic or primary types. Dear students, a taste cell expresses only a single type of receptor. Humans have about more than 30 different types of receptors for the perception of bitter taste. However, there is only one type of receptor for sweet and umami tastes. The reception of sweet, umami and bitter tastes is uh, involved with a G protein linked receptor, while the receptors for salty and sour taste are ion channel proteins. Now we shall discuss the mechanisms of uh, reception of these tastes. First, we shall discuss the salty taste reception mechanism. The salty stimuli readily dissociate into their respective ions. For example, sodium chloride is a salt that readily dissociates into its ions, sodium and chloride ions. The sodium ions enter the taste receptor cell through specialized sodium channels which are called the amyloride sensitive sodium channels. As a result, depolarization is produced. Now we shall discuss the mechanism of sour taste reception. The sour stimuli have excess hydrogen ions. These ions either act through the opening of sodium channels or by blocking the potassium channels. In both these cases, depolarization of membrane is induced. Now, we shall discuss the mechanism of sweet taste reception. When a sweet compound binds to its receptor, a G protein is activated. This G protein, in turn, activates adenyl cyclase that forms cyclic AMP. As a result, the concentration of CAMP is increased. This results in the closure of potassium channels in the receptor membrane. The closing of potassium channels depolarizes the receptor. Now we shall discuss the mechanism of bitter taste reception. A bitter substance, for example, conine, binds to the receptor and activates a G protein. The G protein is coupled with phospholipase C. This phospholipase C converts PIP2 into inositol triphosphate. The inositol triphosphate causes the release of calcium ions from intracellular stores. Aapko pata hai ke calcium ions store hote hain in the mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. So, jab inositol triphosphate ki concentration increase ho jati hai, to in stores mein se calcium ions bahir aate hain aur as a result they cause depolarization of the membrane.
Now we shall discuss the mechanism of umami taste reception. Dear students, the receptors for umami taste were discovered recently in the year 2000. This taste is commonly called as savory or delicious. हम आम जुबान में इस taste को जो पहचानते हैं वो Chinese salt के तौर पर पहचानते हैं which is naturally present in meat and cheese. इस uh, umami taste के पीछे जो molecule है that is called monosodium glutamate or the amino acid glutamate. जो इस monosodium glutamate के receptors हैं, they are also G protein linked receptors, which are very, very closely linked to sweet taste receptors. यही वजह है कि एक लंबे अरसे तक umami taste को अलादा हैसियत शामे, इसकी अलादा हैसियत रिकग्नाइज नहीं की जाती थी बल्कि इसको स्वीट टेस्ट ही समझा जाता था लेकिन जब से ये रिसेप्टर्स डिस्कवर हुए हैं मोनोसोडियम ग्लूटामेट के तो उमामी टेस्ट को फिफ्थ प्राइमरी टेस्ट समझा जाता है जब ये आ, कोई भी उमामी टेस्ट रखने वाला सब्सटेंस अपने रिसेप्टर पर रिसीव होता है तो एज ए रिजल्ट एक जी प्रोटीन एक्टिवेट होती है which induces a cellular cascade involving cyclic AMP and release of calcium ions, just like in the case of G protein linked receptors, ke mechanism is done. And as a result, depolarization is induced. Dear students, in all cases of these test receptions, when depolarization is produced, as a result, cells generate action potentials and release of neurotransmitters occurs. The neurotransmitters propagate the signal to the nervous system. Dear students, the all taste receptors are neurons and they generate action potentials. But they have no exons. So they cannot themselves transmit signals into the nervous system. So, uh, they synapse with the neurons of 7th, 9th and 10th cranial nerves that is the facial, glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves jo ke is message ko carry karti hai to the central nervous system. Dear students, ye teen nerves jo hai in ke andar bohut sare exons hote hai और इन एक्सोन्स के थ्रू तमाम मुख्तलिफ अक्साम के टेस्ट्स के मैसेजेस कैरी किए जाते हैं टू दी सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम ऐसा किस तरह से मुमकिन है ऐसा एक स्पेशल मैकेनिज्म जिसे कहते हैं लेबल्ड लाइन कोडिंग इसकी वजह से मुमकिन है ईच रिसेप्टर सब टाइप मुख्तलिफ सब टाइप्स जो हैं रिसेप्टर्स की जो मुख्तलिफ टेस्ट रिसेप्शन के लिए हैं they are connected to a particular set of exons in the nerve. In such an arrangement, the information about a taste, for example, sweetness, is carried by a specific subset of exons. Isi tarah se sweet ke liye agar ek subset specialized hai, to bitter ke liye ek or subset usi nerve ke andar Specialized hoga. Is tarhe ke pattern ko labeled line coding kehte hain. 